from the tragedy a near miracle. The seemingly innocuous decision that saved the lives of an entire Swedish soccer team. They were booked on board the German wings flight that ultimately crashed into the Alps. They wanted to get back to Sweden through Dusseldorf. But at the last minute, the team decided that the layover in Dusseldorf would have been too long. So they split up and took three other flights home. On the phone from Sweden is the team's goalkeeper, Frank Peterson. Frank, thank you very much for taking the time to jump on the phone with, uh, with us. When did you realize this was the flight that you were booked on, and what did you think? Uh, we got to know it uh, when we came to Stockholm, Orlando Airport. Uh, then they told us, uh, and then we have uh, we have been told uh, further on that uh, that was the the flight that we could have been on from the beginning. So it's uh, after everything they have uh, they have told us about it. So. What do you say to your loved ones, to your family members? They must have been absolutely terrified. Yeah, they were. Uh, when we switched on our phones, we had like a uh, hundred missed calls from families and uh, relatives, friends. So we had to call them, everyone, and calm them down. Uh, and that's one of the things I, uh, I think of now. Uh, all the ones who, who made the same calls but didn't get any answers. Uh, it's uh, hard to put words on. Uh, yeah, uh, tragic. Have you been able to make sense of that simple decision and what it has meant for you? Actually, I don't think any one of us is thinking clear yet. But uh, of course, like you said, it's uh, it's exactly like you like you said, and uh, uh, you never know what's going to happen. And life is fragile, so. Uh, yeah, uh, but uh, all of my thoughts and the team's thoughts are to the, the victims and, and all of their relatives. Uh, it's not about us, it's all about them right yeah. now. So you're back in Sweden. I'm sure you're back with family. Uh, what was that first encounter like? Uh, yeah, we're here. Uh, we have been talking to families and friends the uh, whole day. Uh, there's people still finding out that we were booked on that flight so there's people calling all the time uh, and it's first after all of this when our family uh, describes uh, what they thought and uh, what went through to their head uh, while we were up in the air and they didn't know if it was our plane so uh, it only makes things uh, yeah, more more terrible uh, it's such a tragedy Frank, we're looking at pictures right now. Uh, we were moments ago uh, of the debris where that plane crashed. And it, 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 it's hard to look at, but I have to believe for you, even harder. What goes through your head when you see the wreckage of this plane that, but for a you know, split-second decision, you would have been on? Yeah, like you said, um, uh, the last thing I think about is, is that I could have been on the plane. I only think about uh, my teammates and uh, and the ones who who was on the plane. Uh, maybe later on, I'm gonna start thinking that I could have been on it. But uh, right now, it's it's not not about uh, us or or me. It's uh, all about the the ones who. But uh, I've never been afraid of flying. But after this, actually, I'm I'm a little bit a little bit afraid or terrified, to be honest.